What is up everybody? It's easy. Bringing a special video today. This is an Attack 101 video. This is a special video for the website ClashMadeEasy.com on the Damage Inc. Attacks 101 page. I got every every uh, attack you can think of on the page and we're starting to build the builder base attacks and this is one of the first ones we're going to put up on the page. It is the baby dragon attack. Got three or four really good baby dragon attacks here. Uh, we call them brags. That's a short for baby dragon, so I don't have to say baby dragon over and over like I have in past videos about 50 times a video. <laughs> so, getting right into the first attack because these attacks are going to go by really fast. We're using uh, level 10 baby dragons, level 5 hero, the battle machine. I'm, I'm in Builder Hall 5 and doing a lot of attacks on Builder Hall 6s. And uh, I think this is the only attack on a Builder Hall 5. If, when I attack Builder Hall 5s, it's usually a, a landslide type win. And uh, but, but when you attack Builder Hall 6s with your level 10 Baby Dragons, it is a challenge, at, you know, to say the least. So we'll break down the attacks, we'll break down the strategy on, on what you're trying to accomplish with the Dragons. Obviously you're trying to 3 star, but there's a couple of techniques that we're going to try to use to uh, increase our, our chances of getting a 3 star. First of all, just identifying the biggest threat, which is obviously the air bombs. Air bombs are always the biggest threat when you're using air troops. So one of the first things I'm going to do is try to take out the air bombs one way or another. In this particular attack here, which is a very common, we have a lot of common base designs, so that might help people too. Uh, what, I, what I did here is I, I put one brag in as far away from the air bomb as I could and still let it target the baby dragon so what so I was uh, you know probably five or six tiles away it targets the baby dragon those balloons had to travel a long distance to get to that to the brag that it was a, that I was attacking and because it took so long I was able to put the second brag in on top of the air bomb and it almost took it out without taking any damage itself it's that one-on-one -on -one swap that we want to try to do if uh, if a uh, the air bombs target a baby dragon and you lose one and take out the air bomb that's a great trade so in this attack using a common strategy it's kind of if this was the uh, the home village we would call this a surgical deployment or a surgical strike where you will put in all of the troops on specific defenses on on specific areas instead of just putting them all in at one time uh, you don't really want to do that with baby dragons because they have their ability is this the, the enraged ability and uh, in order for the enraged ability to work they have to have some space if, if they get too close to each other the ability no longer works and the ability gives them like a hundred percent over their attacking power or 110 or 120 percent or whatever it is it, it all depends on the level of the, of the baby dragons now so we went over kind of the first way that I try to take out the air bombs and that's putting a baby dragon in, letting the air bomb target it and then attacking it with a second one, kind of putting the first one as a decoy. The second way that we'll do this is we'll put the we'll put another troop on it. In this case, it is the hero. And so we try to put the hero in as close to the air bombs as possible. Uh, the hero is going to attract a lot of defenses towards it and attack the roaster, which is a, which is a pretty uh, devastating defense. It's a Builder Hall 6 defense, and uh, the, the hero breaks through the wall, uses uh, several abilities to get through the wall. You know, the hero in the Builder Hall does not, you can't, you, uh, wow, tongue-tied, like every single video. <laughs> uh, in the Builder Hall, the, the hero has several abilities. I think it's every 14 seconds you can use the ability again. So uh, use it as often as possible. As soon as it takes a little bit of damage, use that ability. I don't don't wait don't wait around on it because as soon as you use the ability, that 14 second ticker starts going off, and you'll have another ability in another 14 seconds. And, and every time you use the ability, you'll get a little boost in your hit points. So you'll be able to increase your hit points every time you use the ability. So use it often. So uh, again, now something else. So we're gonna spread out the baby dragons. We, we kind of deploy them as if we were doing a La Luna attack on the um, on the home village, where uh, where we'll start in one location and kind of work either clockwise or cl counterclockwise around the base, and uh, and the the dragons will slowly work their way into the core. And if things go well, you'll just have an overwhelming amount on the core. Now this is my this is my home base uh, builder base. 
and I wanted to show an attack on my base because this is something that's been happening to me. I'm sure it's happened to other people. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty successful on the attacking end of these exchanges. Remember, on the builder base, we attack and get attacked at the same time. So my attacks have been going pretty well, but I'm not increasing in trophies like I'd like to. And the reason is uh, I'm attacking a lot of Builder Hall 6s. And as you can see here, they're attacking me with a level 5 hero and level 12 archers. And what I've found out is that all of the max troops are, are super, super effective. If you know how to use them, the archers are effective. The, I've been attacked in 3-star with minions. I've been attacked in 3-star with baby dragons. I've been attacked in 3-star with every troop. Except I think the cannon cart. I, I don't think I've been attacked with a mass cannon cart. I've been 3-star with it yet. That's coming. <laughs> so uh, the developers did a great job in, in programming all of these different uh, troops at the elite level. Um, there is not a troop out there that is not effective in the builder hall. If you know how to use them and you know their niche and, and exactly how to attack with them, they're really strong up in the max level. So as a builder hall 5, uh, now what I've done is I have, I almost have max troops at builder hall 5 and my defenses are not far behind. I believe only the, the multi mortar is at level 1 still. Everything else is either 1 or 2 levels away from being maxed. And just because I have the max dragons and uh, max giants and maxed uh, barbarians, I am being matched with mostly Builder Hall 6s. So that's just a testament to how well the matchmaking is. In other words, if you are just upgrading your troops and not upgrading your defenses, you'll still get matched with tough opponents. Uh, I don't get matched with lesser opponents because all of my defenses aren't maxed. And my troops are it's not the same as the regular home village I uh, just wanted to touch on that real briefly so the last attack in the vi in the video uh, again I, I start off the attack by putting a baby dragon in the corner then put another one on top of the air bombs uh, had a second one come in and help out now in this case these are kind of high level defenses so it took three baby dragons to get through the air bombs and get through the those outer def defenses um, the hero breaks through the wall. The hero's making its way towards the core. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get the baby dragon on the crusher, and it, it took a lot of damage before the hero came up to it. So the hero kind of one one shot it once it used the ability. Um, the multi mortar, same thing. The baby dragons got on it before the hero. So that was a real, that was a good compliment. Where the air troops got on the ground defenses and the ground troop the the got on some of the air defenses so that, that really worked out well because these are this was this base was pretty well upgraded and uh, another another good three star you can three star with these baby dragons um, in builder hall six if if you're if you've got max baby dragons in five you can three star in six I do it all the time the problem is is that they can three star you right back so uh, very effective troop uh, level 10 brags are super effective Okay, got another Attack 101 episode under our belt. This one was on the Baby Dragons. You can see all of the Attack 101 episodes on uh, the website, which is ClashMadeEasy.com. On the Attack 101 page, uh, the website is now live. It's pretty awesome. Go check it out, www.ClashMadeEasy.com. Got a little thing for it at the end of this video. So, appreciate everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.